Hey Bum, today I'd just like to make a quick guide explaining how the Glamour system works in Final Fantasy XIV. That is the system that lets you change the appearance of your gear so that it looks like you're wearing other gear, basically transmog if you're coming from WoW. I'm going to show you how to unlock Glamour, how to work with the Glamour dresser, how Glamour plates work, and all that good stuff. So let's hop into it. So first of all, you're going to want to make sure you are level 15 so you can unlock the Glamour system and the Die system from Swirgeim in Vesper Bay. She offers the quests, if I had a Glamour and color your world, you're going to want to get those done first. She will give you some Glamour prisms to get started, but you're going to need way more than 12, I can guarantee it. Uh, my personal favorite way to get Glamour prisms is by going to the Grand Company and getting them in exchange for Grand Company seals. Just another reason to rank up your Grand Company. Or you can buy them from the market board, or you can craft them yourself if you have completed the quest. Absolutely glamorous and you're a level 15 crafter. You're also going to want to pick up some Glamour Dispellers to erase Glamours you've already put on an item. Um, so I'm going to suggest you go to Bango Zango. He sells them for 500 gil each, and he is right next to the Alimza Etherite, so super convenient. They are also sold by apartment lobby vendors and a whole bunch of other places. I'll just um, direct you to Gamer Escape for a list of all the vendors of Glamour Dispellers. So once you have your Glamour Prisms and Glamour Dispellers, you are ready to begin Glamour. So you can do this the old-fashioned way and Glamour them individually. So you right-click on the item on your character sheet. Character sheet, it's like a D&D. &D. Uh, <laughs> click Cast Glamour. And then um, just pick whatever item you want uh, to put on that slot. So I'm just going to pick this one for example. Femthin Tunic. And it consumed one Glamour Prism, and it changed the look of my armor. Now, I could uh, go through and cast Glamour on each one individually, or we can make this easy and go to the Glamour Dresser. So I'm going to show you how that works. Go to the Inn, and remember the Inn is unlocked after you complete the Level 9 main story quest. So you won't be able to do the end until you do that. Before you go into the end at all, I'm going to recommend that you repair your gear that you want to Glamour because it will not work in the Glamour dresser if it is not fully repaired. So you can just talk to this arms mender right here. There is an arms mender outside of every inn and just repair your stuff so you won't have any problems Glamouring anything that you want once you are in there. There's also a Glamour Dresser inside the Grand Company Squadron Barracks. So just another reason to unlock the squadron, Adventure Squadrons. Let's talk to the innkeep, retire to the inn room, and here you will find the Glamour Dresser. Right click on it. As you can see, I already have some items in my Glamour Dresser. There's 400 slots of space here in the Glamour Dresser. So it's a great way to free up space from your inventory. Now here you see the Glamour Creation box. This is where we're going to put stuff into the Glamour Dresser for use in Glamour plates. So I'm just going to pick the flower crown. Now as you can see, uh, before I put it in there, you can see it's dyed lotus pink. And I would like it to keep that dye on it. So uh, lucky for me the die will remain. If you put that in there, the die will stay on the item. However, uh, materia will not. Materia will be deleted if you put it into the Glamour Dresser, so be mindful of that. So I put in the flower crown. What else am I going to put in there? Uh, maybe this, uh, this. Okay, so you can put in whatever you want. Every time you put in an item, it will remove one uh, Glamour prism from your inventory. I have 82, so here you can see if I put this in there. I now have 81, so it's, it's going to remove uh, a Glamour Prism every time that I do that. Another thing, if you want to remove an item, it's no problem. Just right-click on it and click Restore Item, and it'll go back into your inventory. So after you've done that, you click Edit Glamour Plates, and you can see uh, there are different... These are basically sets, like Glamour sets. There is I have 15 available, 15 total sets. Uh, that I can do. I will go to an empty plate just so I can show you how this works. So I don't have any weapons in my Glamour dresser so it just says there are no Glamours since I have weapons selected. If I click head it'll show all the head slot pieces that I put into the Glamour dresser so I'm going to click on um, flower crown. For the body these are the body pieces I put into the Glamour dresser. 
Uh, here's another thing to keep in mind. I'm on a dark night right now, and I just put Ravel Keeper's chest wrap of scouting for Rogue and Ninja into the body slot. That's why it has an X, red X on it. It's telling me I'm not going to be able to, uh, that won't display on my character. From So like, if your character could not normally wear it, so if you're the wrong class or you are too low level, it won't show from using the glamour plates. Like that just kind of makes sense. So instead, I'll just put the Dark Knight thing in that slot. Put some of my Dark Knight gear. This is for Dark Knight, uh, so no problem with me wearing it on my while I'm on the Dark Knight job. Fending, random fending boots, <laughs> just to mess up the outfit. And uh, so anyway, once I'm fin once I'm satisfied with everything here, okay, I'm not. This is gonna drive me crazy. Uh, then <laughs> you click save, save plate, glamour plate three saved. Uh, one other thing you should know: see this button right here, open armor. So. If you have stuff in your armoire, you can glamour it straight onto the plate without having to uh, do that previous step. Like, it'll just go straight onto the plate. It's super convenient. So you can, um, it's a great reason to put stuff in your armoire. If it can go in the armoire, it should. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to, I'm not going to put that. <laughs> I'm going to click open glamour dresser again and set it how I want to. Save the plate. Okay, then I exit out of that. And uh, now, when I open my character window, click on Glamour Plate, that was Plate 3, and now I can click Apply. The Glamour Dresser will actually warn you if you are going to put an item into it that could be going in the armoire. It is better to put it in the armoire. Listen to these little alerts. The, the alerts are helpful. So in, it says, this could go in the armoire. You better put it in the armoire. And that is what I'm going to do. As you can see, it has an icon on it that says, this is the top far right icon that looks like an armoire. It means you can put it in there. So we're going to put it in there. Now we can glamour it directly from the armoire and save inventory space. One last thing I want to mention before I leave the inn, and that is about dyes. So if you have an item that's already dyed, like I have this vest that's rose pink, when I put it into the glamour dresser, as I said before, yes, it will retain that dye. And if I put it on a glamour plate, let's say I want to change the dye for this outfit. I can click dye and it will put the dye on the plate, not on the item. So I will click save. It will take that dye out of my inventory and apply that to the plate. But the item itself still has the previous dye on it. So I could, you know, make a new plate with that on it. Or if I were to remove the item from the glamour dresser, it would still be pink dye. So this is just a good thing to keep in mind when you're dealing with very expensive dyes. However, if you have a dyed item and you put it in the armoire, not the glamour dresser, the armoire will delete the dye from it. So in the case of something from the armoire that you want dyed, you're going to want to dye the plate instead. So let's take a look at this glamour plate. Uh, it has nothing on these four slots. So uh, if I were to apply that, uh, it doesn't look the same as it did on the plate, right? Like I still have a chest piece on, you don't see my bra. So if you had actually wanted it to look more, uh, to have the clear slots to be naked, you would need to use the Emperor's new gear set. I would use this Emperor's new robe and that will do, that will do it. To get that, you can buy it on the market board or you can be a level 15 crafter and talk to Sweargeim and do the quest Absolutely Glamorous. Um, that will unlock the vendors that sell you the books you need to learn how to make glamour prisms yourself as a crafter. And these vendors also sell the Emperor's new gear that basically will make a slot naked. However, if you have unlocked glamour before patch 4.1, you will need to do the quest Submission Impossible and Self-Improving Man in Mordona to have the Emperor's items made available at those vendors. Okay, here's another thing you should know. Uh, so you can um, open your gear set list that you have for different jobs. And as you can see on mine, uh, mine ha are uh, linked to different glamour plates. So for Bard, I'm going to click link to glamour plate. 
And then I can pick a glamour plate that I always want to be applied to Bard. Whenever I switch to Bard, I just always want that armor to be there. So here is the glamour set that I have actually made for Bard with a bow and all the aiming stuff. So I'm gonna click link gear set. I want this to always be applied to Bard every time that I switch to Bard. So now uh, when I switch to Bard, there we go. It applies the whole glamour plate for Summoner. I have it linked to glamour plate 12. That's glamour plate 12. That's linked to Summoner. So when I switch to Summoner, that's the whole outfit that goes on it. Uh, now, Summoner's a caster. Summoner shares gear with my Black Mage. But as you can see, I don't have any glamour plate set to Black Mage. And the Summoner outfit uses Summoner job only gear. So what will happen when I switch to Black Mage, which uses the same gear, the stuff that was Summoner only will not change. So this is one I love for Black Mage, right? Glamour Plate 13. I would like to link that one to Black Mage so that way I don't end up looking like this every time <laughs> that I switch to Black Mage from Summoner. So I click Link to Glamour Plate, Link Gear Set 13, Cool Black Mage Set, and then click Summoner, Summoner's in Summoner Gear, click Black Mage, and Black Mage is in the Black Mage plate that I had put, that I had set up, that I had linked to Black Mage the Black Mage set. That's it really. Uh, I think this video probably has a bit of overlap with my video about inventory management where I very briefly touched on the Glamour Dresser but I didn't make it a focus. Um, An inventory management video I will link to in the description box down below where I explain how I personally organize all of my Glamour in a way that works for me but basically um, we have 400 glamour slots, 400 slots in the glamour dresser. If you're having problems with your inventory, you should be taking advantage of that and taking advantage, of course, of the armor. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon or on Twitch. You can also support the channel for free by clicking the subscribe button or by sharing this video with your fellow warriors of darkness. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.